Hello, I'm Eos, and this is another Zelda game, and I absolutely adore this game. This is great. I, I also absolutely uh, hate this game. This is Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Honestly, I don't have too much of a problem with most of it. I like it. I do. The Imprisoned. Flat out, that's the way it is. I dislike the imprison. The imprison sucks. Worst boss ever. And you get to play it three times. I think it might be part of the problem. No, I play, I've played other enemies three times like that and it's not an issue. No, it's the imprison. I just hate the imprison. Let's get started with The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. And I'm using motion controls. I like the motion controls for this game. I don't like them in general, but compared to the controller, I will do this. I like this. It's all been cleared. My old playthrough is gone. We're starting brand new right from the beginning. Yes, of course it's Link. It has to be Link. I do love the cutscenes. I do love the lore. The boss itself is what sucks and what ruins it all for me. I've got that out of the way. I'm still venting a little bit. That looks cool, but basically it's a giant slug or toe with teeth. It's a toe with other toes. Whatever. Nintendo presents. The Legend of Zelda. Uh, Skyward Sword. I love the wind. I love all this. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. And our first view of Skylofts. Oh, you three. Why are you three on the opening scene like this? And the red one is his. Oh, I didn't I didn't put that together. They were going after it right there. <laughs> Bird mail. You You heard something. Why is it I've never noticed these little details? I mean, I've played this many times before, and I never noticed, like, the why they were jumping off in the opening scene. Uh, Link, run. Rise, Link. The time has come for you to awaken. You are fated to have a hand in the, a great destiny, and it will soon find you. The time has come for you to awaken. Link. Too late. Run. Sorry for you. It's just waiting for a tip. <laughs> I wonder if everyone gets their mail like that. Spit from a bird's beak. <laughs> hey, sleepyhead. I know how much you like to sleep in, so I'm guessing this litter will be your alarm cock. Alarm clock this morning. Did I guess right? <laughs> Rise and shine, Link. Today's the wing ceremony. You promised to meet me before it starts, remember? You better not keep me waiting. Signed, Zelda. And Spitbird. Ah, he likes Spitbird. <laughs> oh. 
there are things I want to say about the opening, but we're going to wait to the tutorial's over before I address it. In here, first. Be Ruby. Blue Ruby. Worth five. Better not, better to drop it in your wallet for now. You know, one of these times, I want you to be incarnated into, like, a really rich family. Like, absolutely rich. So you start off with a maximum wallet. And then have no reason to spend your, your rubies anywhere. Like, you'll never have anything to buy. It'll all be from, like, dungeons. <laughs> Alright. Looking around as well. This is awesome. I do love the art. I love all of this. It looks a lot better on the Switch. I originally played this on the Wii, and the motion controls suck. Absolutely. The Wii was the worst thing for motion controls. <sighs> Yeah, I already got that. I already did that in the room. Look around for, uh, with R for the camera. Hi, what do you have to say? Yeah. Pip it. Morning, Link. So today's the wing ceremony. Are you ready? All I'm saying is everyone else is out practicing in the plaza, but you seem to be pretty relaxed about the whole thing. In other words, you were sleeping in. Of course, that Crimson Loft wing of yours is something special. I'd feel pretty confident riding him, too. My bird won the last ceremony, but even I don't think you could beat that red terror of yours. Of course, a bird's true speed in a race always comes down to the skill of the rider. I'm something of a bird researcher around here. So, you know, if you ever find yourself in need of some bird expertise, come see old Pippet. Cool. And, yeah, everyone in Skyloft has bird-related names. Pippet is a type of yellow bird. Um, they actually come in several different colors. What is this? <laughs> Crane and car something. Alan. Hey Link, the day of the wing ceremony is finally upon us. It's time to put what you learned to use, all those practical skills I taught you, and all the academic prowess instructor Horwill taught you. While we're at it, do you remember how to look around using the buttons? Yes, I do. Hi. Uh, I need to work with the, the motion control still. You need to trim your nose hairs. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Stamina gauge needs an upgrade. That's your room. Fledge's room. Oh, we gotta go help him. I forgot about that. Pick. It's a long trip, and he just sits there and watches as we do all the hard work. Yeah, we're definitely a hero. A hero always does the stupid work and doesn't get paid until later on. If ever. I don't remember that taking that long. Alright, go forward, faster. You know, this has no pertinence to the rest of the game whatsoever. I don't, I, I don't recall of anything else that we lug around. What's all this? I thought I told Fledge to carry that. Bah, it's probably for the best. That skinny boy would probably have gotten flattened. You were waiting for that. That's why why the soup is being prepared. Say, do you have something important? Some important ceremony or some such today? Well, thanks for the help. Great. Let's go talk to him. He's actually a good guy, he's just, uh, he's been bullied. Fledge. Thanks, that was a huge help, Link. I know it's not much, but here's half the pay the old lady offered me to do that. See? That's 20 rubies, cool. Fledge is a good egg. Uh, I'll, ha I'll have to, I have to hang back and watch the academy today. Good luck with his ceremony, Link. Oh, he's not, he didn't make the grade or something. Restroom. No, thank you. Mind you, he just got up in the morning. He really should make a stop by the restroom, but I don't know why he doesn't. Hylians are just built differently. By the way, I will be saying fee, because for me, it's always been fee. And, uh, because, you know, it's kind of a, a musical thing, and... Uh, I know that one game that wasn't technically canon calls her Fi, but... I don't know. I, I think it's just an overlook, oversight. For me, it's V. There's no bug here. What? I guess it's later on. 
Alright. Why, Horvel? Why? I was right there. Good morning to you, Link. For today is finally the day of the long-awaited wing ceremony. I'm trying to get there. I've got a meeting with Zelda. So, Alright, what do you want? Are you feeling ready? Oh, I just remembered. There's something I'd like to ask you about. Target me, we could have a quick chat. What are we doing now? Ooh. Excellent. Always remember you can target someone to talk to them that easily. <laughs> Even when there isn't anything to target, it's a convenient way to quickly face your view forward. A little silly carry on conversation this distance. Why don't you come up here and join me? Yeah. <laughs> you should be able to climb up if you dash on the, those boxes. You make the jump quick. Climb up here. Wrong button. Really wrong buttons. <laughs> I win. <laughs> I'm the best player ever. There we go. What do you want? What are you up to? You rushing to get some last minute bird riding practice this morning? Oh, you summoned to meet? Ah, uh, Zelda's waiting for you. She perfect timing then. I got this completely other task for you to do. So yeah, do that first. Zelda's father, Headmaster Kapora, has pet named Mia. And well, she scampered off again. <laughs> and I'm gonna make you fetch her. Look. Over there, you see her? From this angle? No. How do you? The headmaster is so busy working with Zelda to prepare for the ceremony, I thought that maybe I should feed her. But the ceremony is about to start, and I just put a, on a fresh set of clothes, and well, you see. Will you help me out and go retrieve Mia for me? How about I'm busy? <laughs> no, we'll do it. We'll do it. <laughs> Fantastic. So you'll do it. I know you're in a hurry, so I really appreciate you taking the time to help. You should be able to climb up somewhere over there. If you hang off that ledge there, you can climb up onto the roof from the other side. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I know you're quite the climber. I really do appreciate it. You're the one behind Breath of the Wild, aren't you? That sucked. I want my dungeons back. I liked them for what they were. I just miss my Zelda dungeons. I'm really looking forward to the one uh, that's coming up where you can play as Zelda. I have no problem with that. I mean, Link's in there, Zelda's in there. It's great. It's still a Zelda game. The, I have more problems with this one than I do with that, and even in concept. I had an inclination to ring the bell, but I don't think we can do that right now. So, push the box? Yeah. Up. Up. And then we get the little demon terror cat. Are you what what becomes... You distinctly look like the Yetis. Are you what becomes uh, the Yetis later on in the future? It's the big eyes, the white fur, the weird ears. Yeah, you kind of look like a... A cat Yeti. Nice work. You brought her back safe and sound. Sorry for troubling you with this. I know you're busy. Uh, I suppose I should feed Mia now. I actually have to flip and work. What are you doing here? Why are you not feeding this cat? I ordered you to get it. Please tell the headmaster that we found his pet. He should be up by the, the statue of the goddess. We found the pet? I wouldn't got it. <sighs> Alright, up to the statue of the goddess. I believe Zelda is there with him, so you should hurry along. <laughs> Oh yes, I should give you a reward. It's not much, but please take this. Uh, don't tell the others. <laughs> I didn't want to do any work, so I'm paying you. 20 rupees! Awesome. We're not wealthy at all. Morning, Link. How's life? Jackamar. <laughs> that is a bird, isn't it? I, I know that I filed it away as Jackamars are, are not liked birds, and I don't know why. I should look into that. Uh... Did you manage to get even a week of sleep last night? Figure you might have been tossed and turned and think about the big ceremony. What am I doing? Just fixing the gate here. It's been squeaky lately. You can't have that on the day of the ceremony. Oh, and send your prayers to the goddess. So, save points. <laughs> cool. Wonderful. Stamina fruit. And in my headphones, that was incredibly loud. 
<laughs> so yeah, for some reason there's a gate here for no reason. Seriously. I mean, I guess it's part of the academy, but it blocks off the, the goddess statue too. But I don't know. Yep. So those stamina fruits are... I think they're new to this game, but they uh, will let you keep running and running and running, and that's awesome. This really does look so much better than the Wii. O youth, guided by the servant of the goddess, unite earth and sky, bring light to the land. <laughs> hey, good morning, Link. I'm glad to see my loft wing got you out of bed. Hey, <laughs> and be glad it didn't peck out your eyes. <laughs> I was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. But look at this instrument, and look at this outfit. They're mine to use today in the ceremony, since I'll be playing the role of goddess. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. You tell me it's just like the one the goddess was said to have in the legends. It's just like, but we don't have a guarantee that it actually was the one, right? There might be another goddess harp out there. Huh. Cool. That sounds gorgeous, too. I asked Father about it, and he says it's called a harp. Oh, that's sad. That they would lose touch with so much not to understand what a musical instrument was. Like, like a, a particular type, like a harp. It's a simple instrument. <laughs> Music's wonderful. And the game's music is wonderful as well. And look at these clothes! I made this wrap myself and we get to use it in today's ceremony. Between the harp and, and this outfit, I'm going to make a great goddess today. <laughs> if only you knew. <laughs> I got you up this I got you up early this morning because I wanted you to be the first to see me like this link so how do I look great <laughs> I think so too a little conceited Zelda <laughs> but it's nice to know you agree thanks link <laughs> uh, she is a princess one way or another oh there you are Zelda are you prepared for today's ceremony this is her father Oh, hello, Father. <laughs> Gepora! Ah, uh, Link, you're here too. Outstanding! What is wrong with your eyes, man? <laughs> too much coffee or what? <laughs> it's encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity for sleep. No doubt today's ceremony had you too excited to close your eyes for once. I am looking at you with the full intense gaze of my entire brain. If you win today's ceremonial race, you'll get to participate in the post-race ritual with Zelda, so give it your best out there. Yes, about that. Father, I don't know if you can do it. Recently, Link hasn't been practicing much at all for the ceremony. And even when he's out riding his loft wing, he's just lazily gliding around, probably daydreaming. I don't know of what he's thinking. He's going to have to be in perfect control of his bird to win today. Mm. Zelda's a little... <sighs> Grumpy, full of herself, conceited. I mean, kind of looking out for him, but at the same time, let him do what he wants to do. No need to worry yourself, Zelda. You may have a point. Today's wing ceremony tests the skill of the rider as well as his bond with his, uh, to his bird. Victory will not come easily. Hmm. And, as you pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. But you know him since you were both very little. You should know better th than to fret about him. Very good. Thank you. You see, Link and his loft wing share a special connection. I've never seen anything quite like it. As you know, each of us in the Skyloft is one half of a pair. We are only made whole by our loft wings, the guardian birds the goddess bestows upon each of us as a symbol of her divine protection. When we are young, every one of us meets our loft wing 
under the great statue of the goddess. It's quite a big moment, as I'm sure you recall. Uh, but that first meeting between Link and his love wing was extraordinary. Extraordinary. Excuse me. I always do that with that word. <sighs> the bird that came to him was a crimson loft ring. It is a breed that's so rare, we were sure for some time it had vanished from the line. Yes, and the boy and his bird seemed to share a profound connection from the moment they met. <laughs> Do you recall when Link and that Loftwing of his first met? What a sight. The little boy just hopped on that bird and gracefully flew away without even a moment of instruction. They were meant for each other. And judging uh, by how jealous you were that day, I'd say the friendship he shared with the bird didn't go unnoticed by you, my dear. And... Something's wrong, right, Link? <laughs> oh, who can blame you? I'm sure you weren't the only one envious of the powerful bond shared by Link and his bird. Anyone who's part of something special is bound to catch some nasty looks sooner or later. <laughs> Don't you mean hoo-hoo, Owlman? This contest is nothing to laugh at, Father. This ceremony is part of the final test for those... Training to become the Knights of Skyloft. There's a lot of dialogue. It's our opening episode of, of Zelda. I'm so sorry. It is what it is. <laughs> if, if Link doesn't fly fast enough during the race, <laughs> then you're going to have to kiss Groose. <laughs> oh, what if Link messes up his big chance? What if he's not allowed to become a knight? Calm down, my dear. He'll be fine. Honestly, it's almost as though you become a completely different person when you worry about Link. Yeah, she's got those multiple personalities issues there. I mean, there's a Zelda and then there's the, the goddess. Zelda. Listen, Link, you better fly your heart out today. At the very least, you need to squeeze in a little practice before the race. Come on, you'll thank me later. <laughs> Zelda, you really shouldn't. Here we go. Go on now. Jump off the edge and call your loft wing. It's almost time for the ceremony. So try to practice seriously for once. Hmm? Oh yeah? You can't sense your bird out there? <laughs> yeah, I get it. You're trying to weasel out of having to practice. Nice try, but you're not fooling me. Now let me push you to your death. <laughs> okay, Link, go ahead. Call your loft wing. <laughs> Uh, you might want to try again, man. <laughs> Ooh, my eyes are about to fall out of my head. <laughs> hmm, this bird sure is taking a long time to get here. Something's wrong! Oh no! Ah! Zelda to the rescue. <laughs> She's like, oh crap, my father was a witness to murder. I gotta save him. Hey, get there, Link. <laughs> Oh, he's grabbed by the talons. <laughs> yeah, that bird would have definitely pecked his eyes out. <laughs> oh. Are you two all right? Kapora. <laughs> I'm sorry, friend. I didn't mean to push you so hard. You didn't sprain your wing, did you? Oh, right. You too, Link. Uh, uh, hopefully the handprint goes away eventually. <laughs> this is very odd, Link. What could have possibly happened to your loft wing for a bird to ignore the call of his master? It's unheard of. <laughs> and you still can't sense your bird nearby, eh, Link? It's quite a problem, especially considering the ceremony's about to start. Link, when you said you, you couldn't sense your loft wing, well, I should have believed you. I'm sorry. I need to tend to my own loft wing, so I'll catch up with you later. <laughs> It's more important than you are. <laughs> you better go on ahead and see if you can find where your bird has gone. I'm definitely going to start doing voices, at least for her. <laughs> I'm not good at them, but there's going to be something. That's the dinner bell. <laughs> that, that, that's what happens when you fail the wing ceremony. They cook up your loft wing. Oh. Uh, my, how did it get to be so late? If I recall correctly, Howell is presiding over the ceremony. Need to go explain the situation to him and see if he's willing to 
delay the race a little so you can find your bird. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Keep your eyes in your head, sir. <laughs> but father, you're the headmaster of the academy. If Link asks Horwell, he'll probably just uh, come to talk to you about it. Quite true, as usual. You make an excellent point, my dear. Very well, I'll explain the situation to him myself. Link, run along and tell Horwell to come see me in my quarters. Why? Wouldn't it have gotten him more time to have him come up here to see you? Never mind. Yeah, we're going to leave the, the bird to its devices. I nearly was lunch. Poor Link was, at least. So... We all know exactly where to go, but we're actually supposed to, to talk with people. Why do you have a bubble over your head? Your loft wing is missing, but I just saw him. Groose's bird was chasing off after your feathered, uh, feathered fella. Which way? Uh, to be honest, I don't really know where they went. I have too many hammer knocks to the brain, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, so that's why the opening scene was so cool. I wondered why the heck those three were in the opening of Skyward Sword. They were just leaping off the platform to go chase down his Loftwing. I never noticed that before. Isn't that cool? I thought it was cool. Hi. Yo. You're looking quite pale. What? Your life Loftwing is missing? How strange and troubling. Do you think you can find him? You're going to start looking for him now? How do you make it back in time to fly in a ceremony? Looks like your participation in the ceremony hinges on a feather. Or... Hinges on feather or not, you can find the bird on time. Dude, puns are kind of what I can do. I'm not allowing you to do puns. Please rescind your pun. I need I need the pun credit back, please. <laughs> Excuse me. I see, so the headmaster summoned me. Alright then, I'll go speak to him immediately. I owe you... I still owe you for helping me out earlier. So don't worry about the ceremony for now. You're focused on, you focus on finding your Loftwing. You're really particular about your clothes. Don't men open doors for lady anymore? How am I supposed to stand here? How long am I supposed to stand here waiting for chivalry? Oh, it's you, Link. She's really big on the insults. One, she mumbles about you no know, men not opening the door, and then she goes and turns to, to, to Link and be like, Oh, it's you, Link. Like he's not even a man. And say, you look all flustered. Did something happen? What, you can't find your loft wing? I don't know what to tell you. I've been at the school this whole time, waiting for a man to open the door for me. There, the door's open. She's still outside. She wasn't waiting for me. Uh, I think it's downstairs we need to go. I hate that inside you have to run so much slower. You, I think, have something to say, don't you? What's wrong? You don't know where your bird is? I don't know. What are you talking about, Link? You called it, but it didn't even come to you. So that means... Oh, I knew it. Huh? Oh, nothing. Really, I was uh, I was talking to myself. <laughs> I know the voices in my head. It's okay. It's fine. You know, like I do. <laughs> Seriously, you tell people that, and they'll believe you, even if there are no voices. <laughs> people generally just keep on walking. It's fun. You should try it. <laughs> oh, what are we doing? We have to. I'm a little lost. I thought there was a a, con a connection here where you talk to Pippet and uh, Fledge about things, and he's just gonna tell us how to roll into to things to get the bugs down. Oh, and rubies. Yeah, the bug flew away. And I have a serious concussion. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, it's definitely not as bad as yours, because no one's head is pointed like that. I mean, I think that you could be put on the end of a spear and do some serious damage. Alright, I don't recall who we need to talk to. Oh. Yeah, yes we do. <laughs> yeah, right there. 
Can't miss them. They're kind of halfway important characters. One of them is. He's a redemption arc. He's not as bad as he first starts out being. Alright, we're going to leave today's episode of Skyward Sword right there. It's a very long episode. It's an hour and a half. So I had to cut it down in order to actually upload it. Otherwise, it'd be an entire day to upload an hour and a half versus two hours for a half hour. Someone explain the internet for me because the speeds don't seem to add up. Anyway, it's cut down. It's good. We're going to pick up right where we left off next episode. Until then, thank you all for joining me and have fun, everyone.